My name is Jim Riley, and I'm director of the Image Permanence Institute, which we call IPI for short, here at Rochester Institute of Technology. We have a research lab here where for 15 years a team of scientists and engineers have been working on important problems in library archive and museum collections preservation. And one of the things that we've concentrated on for most of that time are ways that we can know and make good decisions about the environments, the temperature and humidity conditions that are so important in determining the future of our collections. Our work has led us to new hardware, software, and quite importantly, web platforms for the organization, storage, sharing, and analysis of environmental data. We've known for a very long time that environmental conditions, temperature and relative humidity conditions over time, have a profound impact on the preservation, or its opposite, the deterioration of collections. But what has been missing up till now, before IPI and IPI's approaches, is an a priori, from the fundamentals up way to say, this particular combination of temperature and humidity conditions over a long span of time are creating these potential risks or giving us these potential benefits to the collections. The work that IPI has done in understanding the causes and the management of deterioration has led us inexorably towards the need to know what environmental conditions are, the need to measure them, the need to analyze them, and from that analysis make good management decisions. To that end, we've developed um, two generations. We're now in our second generation of uh, what are called data loggers, which are battery-powered, standalone, temperature and humidity measuring and recording devices. Uh, our data loggers are called the Preservation Environment Monitor, or PEM for short. And we developed the PEM especially for uh, this task of monitoring the environment that collections live in in libraries, archives, and museums. The ideas behind the PEM, too, that drove its design were ease of use, convenience, accuracy, and uh, what you might call long-term stability. But the PEM alone is not enough. Uh, the PEM is one part of a larger system of, uh, of data management and organization and analysis that do the work of taking people's real data from their real-life situation, putting it through standard computations uh, that we call preservation metrics that are done in the same way every time, that lead to objective, clear, quantitative measurements and indications of what you might call the preservation quality of environments. That's totally new. That's a breakthrough. And it allows not only the management of preservation quality, but it allows us to, to join sustainability goals to our preservation management. The change in working methods from the old ways to the ways that we're doing it now, that change is so profound that it's not even the same activity. It's no longer data logging. That's not the focus of what we do. It's data analysis, environmental management, based on solid, documentable, standardized uh, ways of making decisions. That's really the payoff of many years of research, accelerated aging, many, uh, many different projects of field testing and evaluation. We are so excited about the tools and approaches that have come into to being through IPI's research.